Hey y'all, I inherited a few planes from my grandfather, so before I start to teach myself how to use them, I'm going to build a shooting board and a few accessories to use them with. This design was inspired by what Tamara over at 3x3 Customs built on her channel. To start off, the cheapest she could material at the store was this half inch MDF, so I measured and cut two pieces down to size to make the base. To figure out how far to put the main runner in, I used a level to simulate how far off the side I would want it to be and leaving a little extra room in case I get a bigger plane in the future. I measured and cut a piece of scrap quarter inch plywood down from a previous project. I then measured and cut a second piece of plywood with a quarter inch inset off from that edge. This is so that the blade of the plane won't actually touch the surface while it's being uh, used as the plane blade will protrude some from it. You can see here how the plane will move up and down the runner while leaving room enough for the blade to move through easily. I then glued all the pieces together and clamped them down overnight to dry. The next day I went ahead and drilled and countersuck holes throughout the top of the frame to make sure all the screws penetrated down into all four boards. For the stop at the top, I added a small block that could be used as a stop for really thin pieces of material. I needed to make sure it's spaced out some uh, from the top for some future attachments. And then I used a speed square to make sure it was perpendicular to the planing surface. It's important that the speed square is used against the actual runner uh, that the plane will be moving along to make sure you get that perfect 90 degree angle. Now the board needs some dog legs to keep it from moving around while it's in use. I used two simple pieces of scrap with plenty of glue and screws to make the base stable. So now the board is ready for general surface planing. You can see that a normal board will get caught here at the top, uh, but if I were to try shooting off the side of the board here with this small stop, it's likely I'll get some tear out at the top since the material isn't right behind the cut there. So I need to build a larger stop for these bigger pieces. To do that, we're gonna build a small custom extension that'll just sit right on top of this stop. Once I got it glued and screwed, uh, it wasn't quite tall enough, and so I did add a small extension at the top and then smoothed it flush with the front. Now, to shoot angled miters or boards, I need to create a jig that will hold a piece at about a 45 degree angle. I took my time cutting these out by hand and trying to get them as close to 45 degrees as possible. Then I made a frame around the top of the board and glued and screwed all three sides. After pre-drilling, I put the screw partially in and then used that tip of the screw as really the guide to get the pieces back together into those pre-drilled holes. Once the frame was complete, I needed to add some legs. And I had seen people use this super glue with activator before in this situation where they need to get just a real quick bond and then they'll strengthen it later. So I wanted to give it a try. I used the speed square to get a 45 degree angle set and then placed the leg inside where it would be making full contact with both the ground and the board. And the glue ended up actually getting uh, all absorbed in the leg, none of it on the side. So I switched methods and used wood glue and screw for each side. I then added a brace piece to lock in the appropriate angle for the legs. Once it was done, it got very close to a 45 degree angle out of this structure. To use it, we just clamp it in place and start shooting. You can see it's taken off the high part of this angle here, so it seems to be working pretty well. Overall, I think these are going to be good to get me started, uh, but the real test will be the next few projects here I have going on. To see those, be sure and like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.